Let's talk about terrorism today. Terrorism is the act of violence, T um, terror, come from the word terror, terrorism, terror is the act of violence in order for a political ideology. According to the FBI, it cannot be used for an act of liberation. Carnism is a violent ideology. It is one very self-righteous ideology. Because the carnists believe that he has the right to eat certain animals. Not hominids in the West. Not um, dogs or cats, not rhinos or elephants. But I think they have the right to eat pigs, chickens, and turkeys and shoot deer if they are a license. Gift by one corrupt government. I was in the incest bed with the hunting industries. Or must I say, the cowardly psychopath industries. <clears throat> Hunting is also terrorism. Because you don't need it, it is a violent ideology, it is the mindset of might make right. It is the first play of a psychopath. Like the Zodiac Killer, so a lovely put it. Killing people is so much fun. It is even more fun than killing wild thing or wild animals. Because man is the most dangerous animal. Man, kind, so-called hominids, I prefer to call them, are a marvelous curiosity when they are the very, very best, they're kind of a local plant angel. When they are the worst, they are unspeakable, unbelievable and unforgivable. All the time, and all, by all the means, they are a sarcasm. Hours, the majority of them. The most biggest form of terrorism on this moment is animal agriculture. I'm trying not to escape from this judgment because it is just we murder for no other reason than that people think. It is national, normal, and necessary, just like there, in the time of slavery, you were thinking it is normal, national, necessary, and um, natural. And the protected with the same, with a lot of the same stupid excuses. Only then, the slaves were not executed, murdered in mass, and eaten by wives. If you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view, because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easily to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty, like all evil oppressors have done around the whole history. Like Hitler, uh, like Gaddafi and Saddam Hussein. But when you are the victim, think about what they do from this one. From this other view, we murder us one species. Seventy billion land animals and up to two point eight trillion marine animals for a burger. Something apathetic and unnecessary like that. And I don't even believe you like it. 
You only think you like it. Nobody likes the true taste of meat. And I can prove it to you. If somebody kills a chicken for you, don't salt it, don't put pepper in to it. Do not let's put any spices to it. And put it on your table plate. Just like a lion wants to eat it. You say, you are crazy, I will not eat that. Put some spices to it, put some oil to it, some herbs. In other words, so that it don't taste exactly anymore like a dead corpse. The ideology of carnism, in its purest essence, is anthropocentrism. Anthropocentrism is the arrogant, myopic form of terrorism our society is built on. The idea that we are only important, that all other beings are replaceable if they don't benefit us, the belief that we are more important than any other living being, that our life have to go before any other life. Our species deserve more rights and protections than others. Sounds like well neo-Nazi ideology of say something like this. I am we are white, uh, we have higher intelligence than black people, and therefore we have the right to enslave them. A few them like an inanimate objects. They're higher jealous on us. And that's, a, that's a reason I want to reach a woman. Something like that. White supremacism. If we can destroy anthropocentrism and speciesism. Then, we can finally have peace on this planet. But before we can do that, we have to put our massive ego in the trash and accept that there are many, and I repeat, many species are more important than anyway than are. And that animal agriculture is the most biggest form of terrorism on the planet that ever have existed. In other words, if people truly want to end terrorism, they need to put the dead animal body parts out of their refrigerator into one grave. Support the gracious and um, altruistic heroes of the animal liberation front, who are demonized by the true terrorists, the American government, who killed many in so called wars for peace. If they're not who then all the talk about peace and compassion is the most, most biggest hypocritical rhetoric ever performed. Enough already. You have not a right to violate the life and the bodies of other living beings. Their bodies. Their rights. Their flesh. Not yours. Their life. Not yours. Awake and become human. Stop being a puppet of an immoral system. I don't respect your choice to abuse and torment other animals. Just like you and I don't. Most likely, don't respect the choice of a pedophile to molest child. 
just like you and I, I hope, also don't respect the choice of a rapist to molest and violate the bodies of women. Just like you and I, hopefully, don't respect the rights of some neo Nazi or some Ku Klux Klan member that, that black people been on this planet to serve the whites. And I also hope that we can agree on that homosexuals are not second class citizens, even the laws call them that. And that there are equal to hate roads in many ways. More than enough. Go vegan. Stop being a hypocrite. Stop being a terrorist. And go vegan. What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Always be vegan.